So this is the classic Volkswagen air-cooled engine. The engine you'll find in uh, classic Beetles, uh, split-screen vans, bay window vans. Now, these engines attach to the gearbox at four points. One, two, three, four. It's those four points we're going to use to attach this engine um, to the engine stand. Now to do that, Conventionally, the common engine stands you can buy, the generic type, um, from the likes of Machine Mart, um, Harbour Freight, uh, Clark, eBay, Amazon, that sort of thing. Those generic engine stands can be attached to these four points, but you just use a spacer tube. Now, because this engine flange is relatively thin and it's made from an aluminium alloy they say that it's a weak point and if you use one of those generic stands there's a good chance you can crack and break and then your engine is basically scrap so the engine adapter i'm building is going to be made in one piece so it'll be a ring that fits all the way around there and fixes on these four points then once I've built it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it down the middle so you'll be able to separate the two halves so that once the engine's stripped, you can remove this half and that will allow you to separate the crankcase while still having the engine on the stand. So what I've done, I've measured the diameter of this lip, basically. So that's the inside diameter of the engine mounting uh, circle and then mark that onto a piece of plate quarter plate which is just what I had it's not necessarily the best material it's just what I've got at the time I've used a plasma cutter to cut out that circle from that piece of plate so this is the yoke finished or pretty much finished so I've kept it clamped to the uh, table just to keep everything uh, true to stop the distortion The middle tube, the pivot tube, is tacked to the table as well. This section is going to get cut off now, once the welds have cooled. And then this piece will be cut to length to fit through here, with just a bit of space beyond to put like a locking bar through or something like that. I just need to cut this off and I can weld the underneath. Um, that's finished then and it can be bolted up so that's the yoke mounted to the engine you can see how that fits at some point in the future I'm going to split this yoke down the middle with a bracket and a bolt either side and the same with this leg somewhere down here so that you'll be able to separate the left and right halves of the, con of the crankcase. Before I do any of that, I'm going to actually try lifting the engine, mounting it in the frame. The spindle has been greased, it's drilled for a securing bolt, and some little dimples every 90 degrees to help lock it in. So, let's try lifting the engine, see how we go.
sure how easily this thing could turn. But it's unbelievable. It'd be like two fingers. You can't turn it all the way over at the moment because it's still full of oil. But that's working perfectly. Thank you.